Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nika B. Don't forget to Smith Baby. And today I wanted to do this fresh, everyday, very, very easy, very, very simple look for you guys. It's a new decade, it's a new year, and I just wanted to start off fresh. So this look is very, very easy, very simple. Um, I wanted it to be very fair. In this video, you will find that 70, no, I want to say about 80% of my, 85% of my makeup was done with my hands. You'll see that everything that I did to achieve this look and all the, all the things that I used is something that everybody can use. Literally, every woman out there can use. And majority of the things that I use, the products will be listed down below, but they are also things that you can find at the drugstore. And it's products you can get, you know, from anywhere, from a Walmart, from a Rite Aid, any drugstore, um, any pharmacy, anywhere that sells makeup, you'll be able to get these products. I got some things that you can't, that you may not find at the drugstore from Ulta. This look was so simple. It was probably one of the simplest looks that I've ever done on my own face. It's really, really easy. It took me all of, well, if I wasn't recording, it probably would have took me all of 10 minutes to get this done. So this is definitely a look that you can achieve before you go to work. Um, it's really, really easy. When I had this look in mind, um, I really wanted to cater to the everyday working woman. Um, the woman who may not wear makeup every day, the woman who may not wear makeup at all, but desires to, and the woman who may have a simple makeup routine, maybe a, the same routine that they had for um, a long time and maybe just wants to spruce it up a bit. So to see how I achieved this very pretty, very clean, very fresh, simple, everyday look, just keep watching. Hey y'all, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start off with my NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil in the color Brunette, and I'm just going to fill in the inner corners only of the brow with that. Then I'm going to go into my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color 4.5, and I'm going to fill the rest of my brows in with that. And um, I used to not be big on like the um, high priced um, brow pencils, but this one right here is a winner. This one got me. It's a really good pencil. Very thin and very precise. The name speaks for itself. So yeah, I'm just going to lightly fill these brows in. Very natural. I'm not going to make them look too dark or too heavy. I'm just going to make them look more defined. And then I'm going to go back in with my NYX brow pencil with the spoolie in and just brush that product through. On both of my eyebrows. See that? Perfect. Then I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color orange and I'm going to color correct all the dark areas on my face. So right under my eyes, along the sides of my nose, and right around my mouth and my chin. And I'm also going to do right on the sides of my cupid's bow. Um, I didn't point that part out, but I'm also going to do right at the top of my lip. If you see, like right along both sides of my cupid's bow are like little dark spots. So I'm also going to color correct those areas too. And I know it looks like a lot of product that I'm applying, but I'm really not applying a lot of product at all. It just looks that way. But you'll see once I blend it all out, it's going to blend out to be a very sheer layer and um, it'll just really cover the dark spots just enough but not too much that the orange will show through and it'll make my face look all orange and then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Deluxe Concealer Brush. And let me tell y'all something about this brush, okay? I never, for this part, when I color correct and even sometimes when I go um, to blend out my concealer under my brows, I never used to use a brush until I came across this brush. And it is worth it. 
very inexpensive but the real techniques all of their tools are just perfect okay if you don't have any tools start out with this concealer brush it'll help you so much especially when it comes down to blending out your concealer um, and blending out the concealer under your brows do you see that okay and then I'm going to take my LA girl pro concealer in the color fawn and I'm just going under my brows just under my brows with this color just to give it a nice lift and to clean up any hairs or um, any out of place product from um, when I filled my brows in with the brow pencil and I'm just going under the brow being very careful to focus it under the brow under the arch usually I would go over my brows as well um, to sharpen it but since this is a very simple easy everyday look I am not going to do that and then I'm just going to blend it downwards or I should say pull it downwards um, toward my lid just so when I blend it I can blend it out um, very seamlessly and now I'm going to go back in with that um, Real Techniques concealer brush and I'm just going to blend it all out I'm telling y'all, y'all need to get your hands on this brush. It will help you. It will save you time. It will save you energy. Get your hands on one of these brushes. I'm telling you, it will help you so much. The makeup process, it will help it go a lot smoother and easier. Now I'm just going to take my Benefit pencil and just go back in my brows and clean that up a bit. Now I'm going to take my Neutrogena makeup wipes and remove all that makeup off the back of my hands. Then I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way setting powder and translucent with that same concealer brush. I'm using this brush for a lot of different things today. I need a lot of tools to achieve a flawless beat and I'm just going to go under my eyes with that. Now for the fun stuff. I'm going to take this NYX Total Control Primer and my Black Radiance BB Cream in the color Brown Sugar and I'm going to use both of these together, apply them to my finger and once I finally get some of this BB cream out, just that much, mix it all together using my hands and apply it all over my face, all over. And I'm kind of rubbing it in and using patting motions, just using the very balls of my, of my fingertips. And I'm just smoothing it in just as I would with my moisturizer. Don't forget the neck, y'all. Don't forget the neck. And I'm just making sure the product is nicely placed. And that's it for that part. Now I'm going to go back in to my Too Faced Born This Way powder with a big fluffy all over, all over brush. And I'm going to set my entire face with that. Make sure you set. You have to set or your makeup will move and it will not last and it will break up throughout the day. Make sure you set your face always set your face next I'm going to take my makeup revolution um, conceal and divine concealer just a little bit and I'm going to place this everywhere I want to highlight and that's right under my eyes down the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and just a little bit on the chin and the forehead I did not double dip or go back into this um, into the tube with to get more product I just use whatever I got on the wand. Now going back in with my fingers again, going back in with my middle finger and just focusing mainly on the, the um, with the ball of my finger and I'm just going to blend that out. Do y'all see that? Like do y'all see that? Flawless honey. Yes ma'am. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So are y'all counting? I used two brushes so far and one hand and I'm almost done my entire face. I said one hand. I mean two brushes and my hands and I'm almost done my entire face. The hardest part is over. And I'm just going to go back in with my translucent powder and set that very lightly. Now I'm going to take my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm going to take the contour shade and I'm going to lightly contour. So I'm going under my cheekbones, 
on my forehead, on the sides of my nose, and on my jawline on both sides of my face. This will bring structure back to your face. It'll bring your features out and it'll bring shadow to the points where you don't want to accentuate. Or I should say you don't want to show. Now I'm going to take my NYX blush in the color Deep Plum. I had this blush for so long y'all. And I'm just going to warm up the face with that. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Lotion in Deep Glow and I'm going to use that as my highlighter. This will just give a nice pretty glow, skin like glow. It won't be too much. And I'm just going to take the rest that I had on my finger from, from applying it on um, that side of my face and I'm going to go right under my brow with that and blend it out with my concealer brush same concealer brush we don't use that brush for like four different things so far and doing the same thing on the opposite side of my face and now just to do the part that i love the most highlight the nose and i'm going to blend the nose highlight out with that same brush then I'm going to use my eyelash curlers and I'm going to curl my natural lashes. Y'all see I don't got no falsies on this time. I have no falsies on this time. Then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and I'm going to coat my lashes with that. What I didn't show is that I did go over my lashes with a coat of mascara first before I put this primer on. And now I'm just going to take my hand fan and let that dry down a bit. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline New York Great Lash Mascara. This is in the color brownish black. And I'm just going to coat them lashes from root to end. I told y'all I want this to be everyday friendly. I want this to be beginner friendly and friendly for those who are not like me who don't wear lashes a lot. Most people do wear mascara though. I want you guys to be able to get it. I want this to be friendly for the everyday woman. And then I'm just going to take my um, Wet n Wild Coal Liner. This is an eyeliner actually, and I'm going to line my lips with this. And I'm going to go a little heavy on the liner this time because I just want to. want my lips to be the um the focus point i guess for this look the part that stands out the most on my face lining my lips and then i'm just going to blend that out a little bit then i'm going to take this tinted lip gloss called um nana cocoa i think i said that right i had this for a while when i got this from the hair store and this is in the color hidden desires and i'm going to apply that to my lips and you see how that starts to give like a nice ombre effect love it and i just blended that out really good and now i'm going to take my wet and wild times pac-man Ghost Brilliant Gloss in the color Clyde. And I'm going to apply that on top of that um, Hidden Desires Gloss. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Pro Fix um, Finishing Spray and spray that all down. And take my hand fan and let that sit, honey. Let it set. Do y'all see that? Not too much. Nice and natural. Beautiful. Clean. Simple look. Anybody can get this done, honey. I love this. This is about to be my new go-to. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel, okay? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.